you have the debug panel in Visual Studio Code uh, where you can create your uh, configuration, launch configuration. So you can do it by clicking on the gear button here. So now you select the Node.js um, and uh, the file launch.json is created which is actually stored in the VS Code folder here. So here is the launch configuration for, for Node apps but uh, we need to use it uh, for Electron. And the way that we can uh, use it for Electron is by specifying here in runtime executable uh, the path to Electron binary. So I'm going to change this now to be um, work space root slash node modules dot bin Electron. And I'm going to, as a runtime argument, pass the enable logging. Uh, this uh, index.js, which is an entry point to our uh, program, will be automatically appended to uh, w when r running the Electron binary. So let's try it out. You can run the debugger by going to the debug panel and pressing play or pressing F5. So you see that my app is being run but I don't see it halting because it didn't set any breakpoint. So I'm going to stop it and we're going to set the breakpoint for example here which is the index.js which is a main entry point. I also have the uh, hello.js uh, which is my renderer and it's creating the new window here, world. And I'm going to set the breakpoint here as well and also in the world.js here. So if I press F5 to start it and press say world, nothing is happening. And if I press say hello, it's actually being stopped here in the Visual Studio, but on the main process in the index.js. And that is because in our launch JSON we have the type node. So to launch the application and debug the renderer, we cannot use this configuration. We have to create a new configuration, which is going to be similar to this one. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it. So now I have, I'm going to change this name to debug. And as a type, I'm going to say Chrome. And this type is a specific type, which is being added by Debugger for Chrome extension, which you can install from um, extension marketplace. You can just search it here, debugger for Chrome, and then install it. So um, I additionally have to specify two extra arguments here. So first is uh, uh, we have to have a full path to our folder or to our uh, script that we want to debug. So I'm going to say here workspace root and we're going to pass the enable debugging and additionally we're going to say remote debugging port which is going to be 922 and this is the default port which uh, will connect to um, Chrome browser and since Electron is based on Chromium it's going to use the same thing, the same protocol and um, let's try to actually run this, I'm going to save this so I'm going to press F5 to launch it and now if I press say world nothing is happening and if I press say hello you see that now we stopped in hello.js which is a render process but we didn't stop in world.js and uh, that is because actually uh, running the two windows will create uh, the two, two times the targets to connect to. So I'm going to just show it uh, in brief here. Let's try to run it again. So if you go to your browser and then say um, connect to your localhost slash JSON, you see that here we have two targets to connect to. So one is the world HTML and the second is the hello HTML. 
and since we have the launch configuration here uh, which uh, launched our application it's gonna have the first script that it finds in the renderer and it's gonna be the hello so that's why it's connecting to the hello.js and let's try it again yeah it does work okay so I'm gonna stop the script now and shut down the application since you saw that we cannot debug the world window by uh, running this debug target we have to attach to it so the way that you attach to Electron app process is also by creating the configuration of type Chrome specifying the request attach we don't need this and this and connecting to the port 9222 and we have to uh, launch this application externally I launch it from the terminal so I'm gonna say node modules bin electron and say start from this folder and enable logging and also uh, use the remote debugging port to be the same port that we specified in here. So if we run it now and press say world, nothing is happening because we didn't attach to the process. So I'm gonna attach it right now and you see the color changed here. This color indicates that it's being de it's debugging the process. So if I change it to electron and say say world, you see now we stopped in the world JS. Those are three different ways that you can debug the electron app. So you have to have three configurations. So the first one is to launch the node type app to debug your main process. Then if you want to debug your renderer process, you can create the launch configuration again and you have to provide this workspace root, this is important it doesn't work if you pass the dot here and specify also the flag to remote debugging port and uh, if you want to attach to the process you can do so by also specifying the type chrome the attach and attach to the port and the way I do it is by running the application from the terminal like this